So, Jim, court records show Philadelphia police appeared to have confiscated and were holding several weapons belonging to Stacey Hayes. A few months ago, he asked a Philly judge for his weapons back, and in June, he got them. The man police say shot and killed a co-worker inside Jefferson University Hospital Monday had access to at least three weapons and plenty of ammo. We searched Philadelphia court records and discovered in June, Philadelphia police were ordered by a judge to turn over one silver and black Smith & Wesson pistol with three mags and 39 rounds, a 12-gauge shotgun with 12 rounds, and a Panther AR-15 rifle to 55-year-old Stacy Hayes Sr. Police say Hayes used an AR-15 rifle in Monday's shootout with Philadelphia police. We found this document showing Hayes filed a motion in April asking a Philly judge to order police to return his property, writing his guns should be returned because the property was purchased legally by me. I didn't commit any crime and I feel like the property should be returned to me because I am not a threat to anyone. I just want to be able to protect myself and my family if needed. Philadelphia police did not respond to our questions about why they were holding Hayes' weapons, when they took them, or if they expressed concern about returning them. The court record does not include any reason to avoid giving Hayes his weapons. We did look for previous criminal charges against Hayes, but found nothing that may have restricted his gun ownership. He had a 2003 DUI, and four other court records do trace back to Hayes, but are marked limited access. They are protected under Pennsylvania law from public view. Now, at this point, we do not know if the judge who gave Hayes back his guns reviewed those cases or what he was charged with or convicted of or why those cases have limited access on them as a designation. No one seems to have argued that he wasn't entitled to be armed. It's the latest from the newsroom. I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC 10 News. Appreciate the digging there, Mitch. And once NBC10 learned the name of the suspect in the shooting, we reached out to Jefferson about his employment background check and past legal troubles, if any. Questions were sent this morning. We're still waiting for a response.